Hello, it's Aga from Arvis Artist. How are you today? Have you ever had a situation where you have lots of noise from your lights? The lighting trick I want to show you today can you save you lots of troubles. Let's dive in. Softwares are getting better and there is less situations like this. However, if you had problems with lots of noise in your image, you can always use this trick. Ok, so without any further ado, let's jump into 3ds Max. Most of the times I like to start with overwriting materials. So let's do this. Go to the settings and choose default corona material. Let's exclude the pendant model as we need this real material to be able to set the light of the lamp. Next, we'll add the corona sky map to the environment. We're going to add lighting to the pendant. Place the sphere light into the bolts. After we place all of them in the right place, we'll set up the light mix. Let's rename the layers to keep it clean. Start by removing burned areas by increasing highlight compress. Darken the skylight as it is in the evening. Also, make it blue. After you are happy with the skylight, increase the brightness of the pendant light. As you can see, the lights inside the glass are causing a lot of noise. We'll have to fix this. I'm going to show you a solution. We'll start by fixing the glass material. Open Material Editor and place pendant material there. Using a falloff map in reflection slot is not a good practice, so I will remove it. I will make the reflections white color. To stimulate the milky glass, I will make refraction's glossiness really low. The goal is not to see the light inside clearly. The next step is to make those lights work only on the glass bulbs. 
we'll have to detach them from the pendant model and exclude them from overriding material. Do you want to know how to fix it? Sure you do. Let me show you. In the Lights option, include only those lights. Now the light is fixed, but we still have noise coming from light reflecting from the bulbs. To fix this, we'll need to use Corona Ray Switch material. Plug our glass material everywhere except global illumination. It will keep everything the same, but the material won't bounce the lights as global illumination will be black. Make the light less intense so it is not overexposed. Then add some color. It made it look darker, so we'll increase brightness back a bit. Now we have a problem because the pendant is not giving any light to the scene. We'll have to do opposite thing now. Let's copy the existing lights now. Let's make it larger. Click here to see the Exclude Include panel. Remember that now we need to change it to Exclude. And now let's move it outside a bit. We'll add them to the separate light select elements so we have more control. Change the names to keep it clean. Adjust color and value.
enable bloom and glare and make them more intense so it's more visible. Now we will copy the lights to the other side of the bed. We can set it up using the rest layer. After it's done, we can add it to the separate element to keep it clean. Remember about keeping this rest layer clean, because after you will close your 3ds Max, the values and color go back to the default ones, so a white color and value one. Let me know in the comments how do you like this trick. If you want to learn how to create different lighting scenarios for both interior and exterior images, I'd like to invite you to check out our visualization course, where we teach you step by step how to create outstanding images. Click here to check it out on our website. Bye bye!